you want to make a mod menu like this, but you don't know how to code. So you came to the right place. Tonight, today, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to code. So basically, we're going to be going from uh, beginner mods to intermediate mods to advanced mods. And all of them are different like skill sets, so if you're just starting out, beginner mods, if you're okay with coding, intermediate mods, and if you're no coding but you just want to get a refresher, advanced mods. So, yeah, let's just get right into the video. Wow! So, let's just get right into it. Alright, let's start coding. Public. Public means is that mod can be accessed anywhere in any co in any part of the code. It can be accessed in menu GUI, wrist menu, mods, rig patch, any. Next, we have static. So, this means... Oh, so, what static means is that it can it can basically... Uh, it belongs to the class itself. So, it's so static belongs to public. So, any code that's inside static will run anywhere because public is telling it to. So, next up we have void which means it doesn't return any value when it's done running it just does something without giving back any information and now we have to name the mod that we're doing is very simple now with speed boost we need to add two brackets to set it up and then two curly braces like this just click enter it should look like this I will bring it back like this so it is nice and organized. Next, we need to actually make the speed boost do its thing. So first, we need to type out Gorilla Locomotion. And basically, what Gorilla Locomotion is doing is it is calling Gorilla. It is so basically when you move, that is locomotion. And whenever you move in Gorilla Tag, it is locomotion. So now we have to call the player dot player. So in Gorilla Locomotion, it is calling dot player. So now we have to create a new instance instance. So basically when Gorilla Locomotion is calling the new player it is cre creating a new instance, which is going to be jump multiplier. And in this code, it is creating a new jump multiplier. So it is increasing how high you can jump. So we're going to do equals one F and one F is how high you go. But in this case, one F is the default. So we need to just we need i'm going to change this to 2.8 so now basically what this code is doing is it can be accessed anywhere in the code it belongs to the class excel class itself it does something but without giving out any information and now in the code we have gorilla locomotion so it is so gorilla locomotion is calling the player and it's creating a new instance to update the jump multiplier to 2.8 pretty simple now to save you some work time just control c enter control v now this is not right we cannot have we need to change this to max jump beat like this if i'm if i'm hovering up like this that's the intellisense you can't see it i'm sorry but now we need to change this let's change this to 6.4 so basically this is how fast you go and this is how high you jump and congratulations you've made your very first mod let's create the second base so now let's create our second basic mod in this case we're going to be creating the fly mod so now i want you to set up like like what we did here I want you to set up the basic outline of the mod. All right, hopefully you did. If you didn't, public, static, void, fly, brackets, and curly braces. This is always the basic outline of every mod that you'll create. Every single mod. Okay? So now, basically, the fly is doing nothing right now. We, we're not going forward, not moving backwards. So let's create that. So now we need, so basically what we need now is we need to, can, when something is pressed on your controller, we need to know if it is. So this is what we call an if statement. So we need two brackets and we need to, we need to call what the if statement is going to do. And this is called a bool or a boolean. A bool is basically true or false. If, so let's say I am playing Gorilla Tag and I click my left right grip button. That is setting Boolean to true. And basically when I press my grip button in my hand in Gorilla Tag, my left or my third finger will go down because the bool was set to true. So now let's do controller, controller input polar. So basically, this is getting the input from the controller. Dot instance dot right controller. So this is calling what controller it needs. Right controller. And this is primary button, but we're going to set it to secondary button. So basically, it's calling an if statement. And if the right secondary button on your right controller is being called, it's going to do something. So add two curly braces like this. Click enter. 
And now, if if this if right secondary controller button is pressed, it needs to do something. So let's create that. We want it to fly. So let's make it fly. Gorilla locomotion. So it's calling gorilla locomotion dot player dot instance. So we're creating a new instance for gorilla locomotion dot player. So gorilla locomotion is calling player and it's creating a new instance to transform the position. And then we need to do plus equals, which this is equal to, which is adding on to or equal to, and we're going to put this in the brackets, gorilla locomotion dot player dot instance dot head collider, head collider like this. Don't mat it doesn't matter if all these um red lines are here. It's it's just part of coding. Dot transform dot forward. And then we're going to multiply by adding the asterisk symbol time dot delta delta time. So time dot delta time. And we're going to multiply that by 15. So basically what this line of code is doing, let's break it down chunk by chunk. First, control S to save. Make sure to make sure everything is green. So gorilla. Okay, we need to start from the beginning. Public static void fly. If right controller secondary button is being pressed, it's turning the boolean to true. So if it is, gorilla locomotion dot player. So gorilla locomotion is calling player. It is creating a new instance to transform the position of which is equal to gorilla locomotion dot player instance head collider head collider and it's going to be transformed to move forward by oh by time dot delta time and we're multiplying this by 15. this is basically how fast it's going so now we have to call when, when like when you're done pressing the boolean to set to false what is that going to do okay so now we have to create that click enter on your keyboard and now we're going to create it gorilla locomotion dot player dot instance dot get component rigid body dot velocity equals vector three dot zero and then the semicolon so basically what this is doing gorilla locomotion is calling player and is creating a new instance to get the component rigid body and getting its velocity and changing the vector three to zero basically what happens is when you press your right controller secondary button it will move you forward and then after you're done pressing it which will turn the boolean to false it will turn your velocity to zero making you go straight down and there you have it that's our second mod let's create so now what i want you to do is to create right right grip fly so basically please don't copy and paste this code please do not just go like this control c control v i want you to type it out yourself Okay, on screen, I'm gonna flash up what you need to type for the if statement for the Boolean, but I want you to type all of it out so you learn. In a new line, let's go like line 108, you're going to type out the basic structure like we learned. You're going to create an if statement with what's on screen right now. Uh, in this instance, um, right controller secondary button, but for you it's gonna be the right grip or whatever grip you want. And you are going to create um, the velocity, changing changing how fast it is going to go. You can also change this to whatever you want to make it fast and make it not fast. And you're going to create this. Please do not copy and paste because I want you to learn. If you want to learn how to code, I'm going to give you 30 seconds and go. So hopefully you already made the mod, but if you didn't, let's do it. So public, static, void, right, grip, fly. Let's do right grip, right grip, right grip, fly. Okay, two brackets, squiggly lines, click enter. And now we've created our basic structure. Um, I'm gonna have to change this, I already have it. Um, right grip, right grip, fly. So now we have to create the if statement. If controller input polar instance dot right grab. We're gonna do the squiggly braces. Enter. It's got to do something. So let's do that. Gorilla locomotion dot player dot instance dot transform 
position. I'll speed this up for you. So there you have it. Right, get, right grip fly. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully you found this enjoyable, helpful, and simple. And in the next video, I'll be teaching you how to make more intermediate mods. So like platforms, stuff like that. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And I will see you in the next one. Hey, see, 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 see.